so this weekend we're going to down rabbit hole i just got back home i ordered a hokey bowl with quinoa lots of veggies because i need those veggies right now i need to pack everything i'm gonna stay on the campsite for three nights so i'm super excited it is my first festival weekend in years tonight i'm going to prepare and i thought it would be nice to show you guys what i'm bringing i did some grocery shopping and i already planned my outfit so i'm going to show you guys how i plan my outfits but if you're not interested in that at all you can skip to i don't know this minute where you can just see me at the festival i don't know what i'm gonna film yet and how this is going to turn out but i'm sure i will be able to capture some moments and share it with you but first i'm going to eat i was gonna go tonight already a few of my friends are already there but i have a meeting tomorrow morning from 10 to 11 and it is pouring rain right now and tomorrow it is going to be for the rest of the weekend it's going to be sunny around 23 degrees so it's going to be beautiful perfect for a festival so i was like you know i can miss the first night mm, the festival starts tomorrow like the music starts tomorrow but today the campsite opened so i think there's quite a lot of people that are already there but i was just like yeah i'm just gonna go tomorrow a few artists that you may know are the gorillas i'm so excited to see the gorillas bicep is playing bolo and palm which i think is really cool phoebe bridgers joy cooks mm -hmm. Who else? Disclosure, also nice. But yeah, so many more. I will just show you guys the highlights, I think. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog, I'm not bringing my camera. But I will film on my phone. Because I also think it's gonna be so nice to, to be able to watch it back after two years of no festivals. Anyways, I'm going to finish this. Then we're going upstairs. I still have a few things that I need to buy. I will do that tomorrow morning. I also have some food that I'm bringing, but I will just show you guys all of that later. All right, welcome to my packing mess. I'm quickly going to run you guys through the things that I packed. The Well, packed, I haven't packed really, but the things that I'm bringing. So basically the campsite is just a big field with tents. You don't have any electricity there. You're not allowed to bring glass. You really have only the basics. But that also means that you don't have a freezer. You cannot charge your phone. They have charging stations, but you cannot charge your phone at night in your tent. You cannot boil water only if you have like a little gas pit, I think. Um, and I like camping, but I do like a little bit of comfort. So we're gonna see how it goes. The most important thing that I'm bringing is this tent. It's like a pop-up tent. So you don't have to do anything super easy. This is like done in two minutes. I didn't even check if, it's, if it has everything in here, but I guess it should be fine. Then, second most important thing it's called an air mattress i think one person because david is not joining me then a sleeping bag i have these plastic but like thick plastic plates so they are reusable forks spoons and knives they're matching very cute two of these plastic cups for drinks there's no electricity so you, you cannot bring a cooler but i still want to have some food because one token is three euros three euros and 30 cents for a beer food is maybe two or three tokens so this weekend is going to be very expensive but it's fine anyway i did want to bring some food for breakfast or lunch kind of things on the on the campsite everything still in plastic because there's no glass allowed i i think this is pretty dutch so i don't know if i can translate this but it's very sweet then apple mousse i also don't know the translation of this two packs of veggie noodles then i have these tiny jams and rice cakes as you can tell carbs 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 only i have hygiene wipes i am also gonna bring a few apples and then tomorrow i still need to buy tonic for gin and tonic and then we also have vodka soda you're not allowed to bring glass but what we did is we just finished a big bottle of water or soda something like that and then you fill it with vodka and soda or just vodka and then you bring another bottle of soda and then we also did that with gin so we can bring the gin and the 
and the vodka and we can just bring it on the campsite so we can do like pre-drinks on the campsite and that way you're you don't have to spend as much money on drinks when you're on the festival itself that's food i feel like i'm forgetting so many things i actually did make a list on notion not sponsored but please do something that is super super important to bring is a power bank this one should charge my phone eight times so i should be fine for the weekend but you never know these things aren't always the most reliable next up we have the fun part which is clothes most of my outfits i have planned and i make pictures of them so i can just pop them here so first shoes i am bringing two and a half pairs i'm bringing my adidas slippers because the showers and everything is disgusting there my air force one i'm so sorry i had comments on these shoes on tiktok and instagram like why are your shoes this dirty but these are my festival shoes i don't wear these anymore but i should clean them before i go i will do that after i filmed all of this i will clean my shoes don't worry and then i'm also bringing my doc martens because it's pouring rain right now and um, if it's all muddy and wet it's nice to have shoes like this because sneakers will just ugh. walking around with wet socks and sneakers is very uncomfortable when i'm going to the festival tomorrow i will wear these linen pants because they're just comfy for on the campsite with my dog Martens and then I think something like a t-shirt and this hoodie maybe just wrapped around my waist because they do take up a lot of space and then I'm also bringing this for during the evening when it gets a bit colder I think my outfit for tomorrow will be these pants and then I think I will wear it with either this black top, which is just a sleeveless turtleneck or you guys have seen this before, I think. The back is just fully open with this in the middle. Outfit number one and then I think with my Doc Martens. Um, and then I have this bag. It has a very thick strap. Then day two, it is going to be 25 degrees. So... I really wanted to wear a skirt, but I also just want to be very comfortable, not being stressed about, you know, flashing anyone or something. So I think I'm going to wear, this is like a calf length black skirt. And then I will wear it with a black crop top, which I don't know where it is right now. Um, oh, here it is. With this top. And then I think I'm going to wear this bucket hat with it. Very cute. And then this bag again um and then in the evening when it gets colder i think i will kind of like a linen blouse on top and then for day three i'm not sure yet i have so many cute tops and everything but i'm not too sure about how i'm going to combine it but i think i'm going to wear these dickies pants um you guys have seen this as well i don't know i really don't know i am bringing a few options and i'm not too sure which one i'm going to choose from i'm also bringing a biker short but yeah that's pretty much it i i made an even bigger mess so i'm going to pack now and then i will show you guys what it looks like once it's all finished i'm going to get my checklist and just see how i can make this the lightest way possible with not too much shit to carry around tomorrow because I really, really, really don't feel like walking up to the campsite with all of my bags and stuff because it's just, oh, it's my least favorite part. Ready. All right, good morning. It is 11.30. I just finished my meeting, I packed everything and I just made myself a salad and then David is going to drop me off at the campsite and then we're ready to party. Okay, so I did film a lot, but I didn't talk in any of the clips, so this is how we're gonna do it. I arrived at the campsite at around one o'clock and I just set everything up and we went straight to the festival. Just a quick warning, some of these clips contain flashing lights, so if you're sensitive to that, please just skip this video and for the rest of you, enjoy Down the Rabbit Hole Festival. We started at Jungle by Night. I was kind of overwhelmed with how many people 
were at one place, but it didn't take as long to get used to it. Next up was Tudor Cinema Club and I listened to this band on repeat in high school. The Sun is one of my favorite songs ever, so it was so surreal to see them play live. After the first few hours, we were already exhausted, so we went back to the campsite. We bought a party tent because it was super sunny and we were scared that we were burning here. Lik and I are just chilling. So after we chilled at the tent for a few hours, we were recharged and ready to go back to the festival. It was so beautiful with the sunset and we were very excited for the artists that were playing at night. Then, oh, one of the best things of this weekend was Disclosure. This whole show was just insane. So there were a few acts that I was so excited about and Disclosure was one of them. And you're always scared that it's gonna be disappointing, but it definitely was not. It was just even better than I expected. And we just danced a lot, we enjoyed the music, we had so much fun. Good morning. Okay, so day two, I <laughs> look like shit and day that's two. exactly how I was feeling. My friend Liva was also at the campsite with her van. So in the mornings I went to her van to have my noodles and to wake up. Then we went to the festival pretty early to see Spinfis. <laughs> After Spinvis, we just walked around at the festival. There were a few stores, like thrift stores, and it was just very chill. We got some food. The vegan food was amazing. Here I'm having karma kebab. Oh, the best. My favorite discovery this weekend was Easy Life. I am obsessed with them now. I've been playing their songs on repeat. We spend a lot of time just on the grass, chilling, having food, and it is exhausting a weekend at a festival, so these breaks were really lovely too. Then we went to Modred. It was so cool to see him live, and it was one of the best shows I've seen this whole weekend. <laughs> Then the gorillas, they were drunk, really, really drunk. So um, we were a bit disappointed, but it was still so cool to see them live and yeah, just sing along with all their songs. It was just a very cool act to see. And yeah, we still really enjoyed it. And then that night we danced and I didn't really film anything except this one clip at Tom Trago. He came back at the campsite at around four, maybe even five. And we saw the sunrise, so that's when you know you're gonna be fucked the next day. <laughs> Started with noodles again, then we went to the festival again pretty early. I had a very much needed coffee and, and we just sat in the grass and chilled at Dub Inc. As you can see, Lika was also having a rough time. 
And then it was time for bicep. And bicep was just oh, one of the best things I've ever seen in my entire life. This was so epic, so cool. Bicep was amazing. And then we ended the festival at the War on Drugs and this was just a magical moment. Everyone was singing and dancing and I just have so many beautiful memories from this weekend. And yeah, I'm just very grateful that it happened and I'm very grateful for you guys being here. So, see you next week.